it, it was only three minutes. <laughs> and then you, you know, because I love to run my mouth too. <laughs> All right, first of all, before I get started, I would like first to take a moment of silence to bless the 200,000 soldiers, airmen, marine, coast guardmen, sailors that we have serving around the globe and honor those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. So let's bow your heads, please. Thank you. First of all, greetings all. Greetings all. Greetings. You can see me? Okay. Yeah, uh, Brown and I, we go way back. And so, since Ms. Brown told me that I only had three minutes, I got a box of what I was going to say. So I would like to spell out Brown. The B is for Battle Buddy. I got his back, he had mine. Battle Buddy, simply put, the aura is when we serve under Captain Van Goodwin with the 940 circuit. And every Tuesday before drill, we have a Tuesday night meeting so that we will let the soldiers know when they get there Saturday morning what to do. So Brown was getting his car. It wasn't burning all of them, was it? <laughs> I remember it stayed over. And so every Tuesday, I live in St. George. Brown would drive from Orangeburg. He would park in my yard. And then we would go on to the Reserve Center in Charleston, Remount Road, the 942nd, and attend the training meeting. Same thing. When Saturday came, Brown would get on the phone. You going to drive Saturday? I drive Sunday. But I drive. You dri I drive Saturday, you drive Sunday. It seemed like when Drill came up, I met a minute and a half. <laughs> it seemed like when Drill came up, we always had another function to go to. Whether it was that Friday night or Saturday night. But I tell you, that's the R, you know, serving with pride with Lieutenant Colonel Brown. I retired in 2010. I'm 52. Don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the O is for officer. He started off South Carolina State, second lieutenant, brand new. But if you look at that program, the higher you go in rank, once you pass second lieutenant, first lieutenant, captain, you got to travel. Because there are no positions out there for the major and lieutenant colonel. I ended up in Fayetteville, Fort Bragg. And I tell you, I've been in Iraq too. That was no easy task, just like the colonel said. And you know, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm no Christian, but I hold up that bobby in that dusty tent. <laughs> I mean, you got to pray. Pray of changing things. And then the W, I'm almost done. The W. It's for the wild things we did. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> and then the end, 
The end is for never quitting. I did 25, he did 27. Because the ultimate goal doing any profession or career is retired. Now, I don't know how many of you are retired, but uh, it's a good thing. It's a real good thing. And then the last thing I would like to share, one day Brown and I was coming from Charleston, and he took Gwen to the house, young Zalin, and Brown told me, guess what, guess what mama said, Green? Gwen is the one. Now how long y'all been married? 26 years? 26 years. All right, Brown got 26, Green got zero. <laughs> How many kids you have? Two. Again, Brown beating me. <laughs> Two, Brown, zero, Green. Okay, and then lastly, be no good. That's the concept we live by in the army. Okay, it used to be, be all you can be. And now y'all seen the marshal on TV, it's Army Strong. They're strong, then there's Army Strong. All right, thank you very much for listening, and enjoy your meal.